Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Celine unboxing. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by this year. So if these are the types of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at TrishDLM. <music> video is not so much an unboxing, it's more of like just a reveal because it's not really in a box, it's just in a paper bag. I actually got this bag a few months ago but I didn't really want to unbox it yet because I wanted to finish selling off some of my bags. So if you guys know, I did have a vlog sale, I sold around 4 bags. I've already sold everything except for one bag in that video and then I also did sell my vintage Dior saddle. If you guys know me, I don't like having a big collection so when I bring something in, I tend to sell some stuff off and I actually kind of waited until majority of my bags got sold before I show you guys this bag because it is kind of a big purchase. It's one of the new latest bags from Celine although it's in the older paper bag and the packaging which I'll talk about later on. So it's a pretty new bag hence it was a little more expensive and I want to get rid of a lot of my bags first before bringing in a new one. So without further ado let me show you guys what's inside this paper bag. So it's actually pretty big as you can see but it's just the dust bag that's inside it doesn't come with a box anymore and this is the dust bag so again it's the old Celine dust bag but what's inside is actually new Celine so are you guys ready it is the Celine 16 in the top handle with a gold hardware. So this is the Celine 16 in the small size, in the blue-gray color, in pebble calfskin and gold hardware. This specific bag with the pebble calfskin leather is actually one of the first batches because currently on the Celine website, they only have the satinated calfskin and the natural calfskin. So both are like in the smooth calfskin type of leather, but this one, and along with the first batches that they produce, they still had the pebbled calfskin, which is more of like a durable type of leather material. Now, before we get to the nitty gritty, I want to address the elephant in the room, which is the branding of the old Celine. As you know, new Celine doesn't have the apostrophe on the E anymore. They dropped that, so now it's just in place. In bold Celine. However, this specific bag came with the older packaging but it's authentic packaging and that is because this bag is part of the original batch that came out in 2018. And so back to my point, because this bag came out in 2018, the transition of the old Celine logo to the new Celine also happened in 2018 so some of the packaging was still the old Celine dust bags. So if you happen to be like me and you found new Celine and old Celine packaging, don't worry so much because it really happened especially because of the transition in 2018. So this also came complete with the cards which I will show you guys. So it was purchased in Japan in 2018 and it also came with the cards with the old branding as you can see and even the receipt. So by the way I got this from the bag hub. I think I've purchased a few stuff from them as well before and they've always been a trusted consignment store here in the Philippines. But anyway I'm so glad that it came complete even with the receipt in like Japanese yen. So this was purchased in December 12, 2018. So it's part of the first release. Hence I mentioned the textured calfskin which only came in the first generations. And also just to make sure I always do my due diligence anyway whenever I buy pre-loved or from consignment and as much as this is like in really good new condition I also got it authenticated by legit grails so as much as I buy from trusted resellers I also make sure to authenticate on my own because you never know and of course it is authentic so this bag wasn't really in my wish list but I knew about it because of Maggie Chu she's also a youtuber and she was so obsessed with the Celine 16 bag because of Lisa from Blackpink like I saw so many videos of Maggie talking about about the Celine 16 bag prior to her getting it and she was just like all over it. She loves everything that Lisa from Blackpink basically wears. So when she saw that Lisa carried the Celine 16 a lot, she was just like all over it. And if you watch Maggie's video, she's always like so giddy when she's obsessed with something. And so that's what put this bag in my radar. So Maggie got the mini size which is more of like a dainty, a mini, almost nano type of bag. And this one that I got is in the small. 
I also went to the store a lot prior to seeing this and I was actually able to try all the sizes and I really gravitated towards the small more. I actually wanted the tan version in the small size. I thought that was really beautiful. But of course, when I saw this bag at consignment, it only came in this color but I grabbed it anyway because it's actually the size that I want. And it's a really nice color as well though it's not the tan. I think the tan is really beautiful too though. So the Celine 16. It's actually Heidi Sleman's first design for the luxury house. As you know, she succeeded Phoebe Philo and this was the first bag design that she brought into the house. This bag actually came in the medium size first and the face of that campaign was Lady Gaga. If, if you remember from back in 2018, like a lot of the ad campaigns were Lady Gaga with a big Celine bag. And a lot of the feedback was that it actually looked too big and a lot of people actually didn't receive it very well because it looked like a really bulky Kelly. Like that was the vibe that it was giving. However, because of the smaller size such as this, and then they eventually came out with a mini later on, it became more popular. And I feel like it's also because of Lisa of Blackpink. I'm not gonna deny it. Like when she became sponsored by Celine, I feel like that's when the Celine 16 got more popularity, to be fair. This specific bag and the exact size and the exact color in the blue-gray with the pebbled leather was also carried by Jessica Alba. So if you search Jessica Alba Celine 16, you will see this exact colorway and size on her. Because right now, if you look on the website, you'll find this color, but it's only available in the satinated calf and the natural calf. So the comments with the current leather with the natural calf and the satinated is that it tends to scratch really easily. So I'm glad that I was able to get this version in the pebbled calf because it seems to be more hard wearing. Although if you like that look of bags that age, because I think it's a cool concept as well, like having a bag that ages with you where you can see the scratches over time, then that's cool as well because I think that's one of the main selling points of the satinated calf is that it's supposed to like age with you. So if you like that type of style, then that's good for you as well. But I'm glad that I was able to get this in the pebbled calf because this looks really more hard wearing and I'm really a more hard wearing type of girl. I don't know if they'll release this type of leather again for this specific bag but I'm pretty sure that they will because you know this bag seems to be gaining more popularity. So I'll just give you a tour of the bag before I end the video. So this the front, it just has this flap with a turn lock closure. And over here, there's like a dangling charm with a gold lock on it. And inside, you can find the keys. So they're over here inside. Later on when I open the bag, you'll see what this lock is for because it's definitely not for the turn lock because it has no holes or whatsoever. So that's the front area. The back is just plain. This is the side and this is the bottom which I find really nice because they have feet and Celine really pays attention to detail because every single piece of hardware is engraved Celine. Even though it's such an understated bag, no logos or whatsoever, every single part down to the top handle rings and the rings or the straps, they're all engraved. And even the feet, if you look really closely, and I'm a very detail-oriented person, so I like how even the feet are engraved. On the first two feet, it says Celine, and then on the back two feet, it says Paris. So. It also helps it with authenticating, I guess, because those are really tiny details that not all replica factories will be able to replicate. So I'll just put this bag down so I can show you guys. You open it through this turn lock, which is a very sturdy turn lock. It's very substantial when you use it. And over here, you have about one, two, three, four, five compartments, as you can see. So there's three main compartments, one big one at the back, one zip compartment here in the middle as you can see, and then another big compartment in the front. So that's three compartments and then there's small pockets which is at the back. So there's a small pocket at the back and then a small pocket here in the front. As you can see over there, just close up. Now I mentioned the lock where it goes and it's actually for the zip compartment over here in the middle. I'm not sure if you guys can see it from afar but I'll just do close-ups but basically there's a ring for the zipper to put on and if you want your items to be secured so I'm thinking this is good for like when you're traveling and you have your passport and money with you and you just want to be extra safe that no pickpockets, attention eh? pickpockets, will steal from you, then this is a great security measure for that because from the zipper, 
you can actually put your lock and lock the zipper in just so that even if people get in your bag they won't be able to open up the zipper to remove like your very important belongings. So that's the purpose of the lock that came with it, although you can say that it's also a design aesthetic. However, for me, I feel like this lock is actually a bit too uh, bothersome. If you're carrying it, it's just dangling there. And yeah, it's a nice design feature, like it adds to the aesthetic of the bag. However, if you're the type who's very conscious of her belongings and I'm that type of person, I don't like having something dangling around like this, especially on leather that might be scratched. So especially because this key charm tends to turn around a lot and it's basically like that the whole time. And if you're walking around and you don't notice it, this will definitely scratch your back eventually like not right away but because of all that friction if you use it quite a lot and that keeps on rubbing on the leather eventually there will be like signs of wear so what i plan to do with this lock is i just plan to leave it inside so i'll just lock it in there just so it doesn't really hang around there because yeah i just feel like it's going to be kind of bothersome for me to have that swinging around so so yeah i'll just put it in the bag i almost forgot it also came with a leather strap and also the interior i forgot to mention it's all leather so it's pebbled calfskin for the exterior and for the interior everything is in lambskin leather so in really soft leather even the zipper the zip compartment it's also in lambskin leather so they definitely didn't cheap out on this bag now the long strap is not adjustable it's similar to the straps of the Kelly or Mas Kelly and it can be cross-bodied but I don't think I would recommend it as cross-body because of this handle over here. So if you really need to, uh, I'm 5'5 and maybe I'll do a separate review of it later on. I can cross-body this bag at my height of 5'5. Five five. However, it's going to be hard to open because of the top handle. So the top handle will definitely hit your stomach if you try to open it while it's cross-bodied. So if you want to use it around a lot like that, then I don't really recommend. So yeah, this is the long strap and this is the overall bag. I also got a really for it. This one is from Eve and Adam. But this is what it looks like and it's in this beautiful silk. It's a Filipino brand. I'll link them down below. But I just thought that this print is so beautiful. It's by a Filipino graphic designer which I'll also link down below because I forgot his or her name. But yeah, I just thought it was really really nice and I think that it will definitely match my bag. So I'll put it on and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with a twilly on. It's just this really beautiful girly twilly. I love all the colors on it. I feel like it's so saturated and it definitely changes the look of the bag. I actually haven't done it perfectly because I did it before to make certain pops of color show. But this one, because I was in a rush, this is what it looks like right now. But it can be prettier. Uh, but yeah, I love all the colors on it. The pinks, the blues, purples, greens. Like, there's just so many colors on this twilly that it makes this bag really stand out. And when you just carry it like this, it just looks very dainty as so. And it makes it a totally unique bag. For this bag, I can definitely see myself carrying it a lot. I think this can go from day to night. This can go from casual, like this is something I can see myself wearing to the mall. And also because it's so small, like it's not like a huge daily bag. I think that this would actually look good in dinners as well, like with like a dress. And then you can just remove the long strap and just carry it on the top handle, like on the crook of your arm as so. Like I think that looks so classy as well. So yeah, I really love this bag and I'm so glad I was able to get it. So that's about all for this bag. I'm so happy I was able to add a Celine 16 to my collection. I feel like slowly but surely my collection is becoming complete. So that's about all for now. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this bag. I will probably do a review on it later on as well. So if you have any questions, comment them down below so I can tackle it in my future review. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers this year, so if these are the types of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at TrishVLF. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!